The first step is to download and cut out the free stacking pattern I've provided below in the description. I based this pattern off of a stocking that my parents had and I just really like the shape and size of the stocking. So I went ahead and created the pattern and then created the digital version for you guys. So for your fabric, you'll need a half yard of what you will be using for the front of your stocking. This fabric, my mom actually wove on her loom, so it's pretty special. You'll also need a half yard of what you want to use for the back of your stocking. I chose this dark green velvet. You will also need a half yard of what you want to use as a lining. I'm just using a very basic cotton fabric. My aunt did embroider my name onto this, but that's totally optional. And lastly, you'll need half a yard of interfacing. The interfacing I used is on the fluffier side, it's a little bit heavier, and I really like how it stabilized my stocking in the end. You will need to cut one piece of the face fabric. You will also need to cut one piece of the back fabric, making sure to flip the pattern horizontally if your fabric is a right or wrong side. You will need to cut two pieces of lining fabric, and you will also need to cut one piece of the interfacing. When you feel your interfacing, you'll notice that one side is a little bit more bumpy and that's the side that you want face down while pressing it onto your main fabric. I totally missed getting a video of this, but go ahead and press the interfacing with an iron to attach it to your main fabric. So first, I'm going to start with my lining. If your fabric has a right and wrong side, make sure to pin them right sides together. Sew around the edge of the stocking with a half inch seam allowance, making sure not to sew the top edge. So moving on to the outer shell of the stocking, you'll want to place the pattern pieces right sides together. Pin into place. Sew around the stocking with a half inch seam allowance, making sure to stop the stitching about an inch down from the top edge. If you forget to do this like I did, it's no big deal. You can just use a seam ripper and take out about an inch worth of stitching. Cut about a four inch piece of cording and place it one inch down from the top edge. Make sure the loop is facing towards the inside of the stocking. Finish stitching up the stocking with a half inch seam allowance. Next is to trim down the fabric to remove some of that bulk. If you're using velvet, I would suggest leaving that as is and only trimming the front panel fabric. Trim your lining as well. I 
I trim to about a quarter inch away from the stitching line. To put these pieces together, start by turning the lining right side out. Insert the lining into the main body of the stocking. If you do have embroidery, make sure that the embroidery is against the back panel fabric. In my case, this is the velvet. Line up and pin the top edge all the way around the stocking. It helps to match up the side seams first. Stitch around the stocking with a half inch seam allowance, making sure to leave at least a three inch wide gap in order to be able to turn it right side out. Using that gap, turn the stocking right side out. Shove the lining portion back into the stocking. Line up and pin the opening shut. Thread a needle and hand stitch the opening closed. If you want, you can go ahead and iron your stocking, and then you're done. Thanks for watching.